My name is Diane Ferravecchio. I'm 67 now. I've been involved since I was about 18. I, my husband, then boyfriend, used to let me work with him on cars. He taught me all about mechanics. I've done brake jobs. I've done oil changes. I've, um, I even built an engine one time with his guidance. I do not mind getting my hands dirty. And the skills that I acquired actually led to my career, which was to be a service engineer. So I, maybe I have a little time. This car is a recent acquisition. I actually traded it my 1957 original car for it. And I, I have some regrets. I wish I could have kept them both. The restoration is about 20 years old. Um, a very creative gentleman did the work himself and did a lot of, not only creative, but but secure changes okay. to the car. What drew you to this hobby? It's great fun. It's clean fun. It's an adventure. We go on field trips. We go to car shows all over. Um, we've been to many different states. I am president of Jersey Cruise and Classics. Car club. I'm Dan Ciccarelli, it's my wife Linda. I, I've always loved cars, my father was a mechanic, so I always got into cars and I, I really fell in love doing the body work. I'm amazed, you know, when I was younger and then I actually, I had my shop for 26 years. I was a painter and I still do it now. I paint for the uh, government. Well, I'm 60 now, so I'd say I've been in it since I was 14. Brings him a lot of joy, which I like to share in. And I just think it's neat. And he teaches me all the little things, how to tell the difference between different year cars. And it's just okay. a fun environment, okay. especially to see, I mean, we're older, but I like to see the older people and the memories that it brings back when they see certain cars. Yes. I got you. And they like right. to talk about That's it. Very interesting. My name's Don Robbins. I live in New Egypt. I had this look about two and a half years now. Well, I put the finishing touches on to it. You know, a lot of little things. That was, little, little things that I had to do was uh, bumpers and wheels and tires and finish the inside. Uh, not enough. Not enough? What What limits you from the cruises? Uh, well, you know, we, I've always liked the cars. So, I mean, I've had a lot of cars I wish I had today. I had 55 T-Birds. GTO, I had a fair lane, a Frank Dollar from New Jersey. Uh, I started back in 1980. 1980. Yeah, I started out with a 24 and a 28 Dodge, all original. Okay. And then went into a 57 Chevy, some pickup trucks, a couple street rods. Uh, I still have a street rod at home, a 39. And then I purchased this uh, last uh, November. This car was I bought in, uh, from a fellow in Long Island. He bought it back in 1969, he was a second owner. Uh, he had it for about six months, the car was stolen in front of the house. Uh, it was recovered about three hours later, but at that time they, they stole the uh, VIN tag and the uh, data plate off the car. So it's had to sit in the uh, recovery for a month until the national organization, which just started that year, came and looked at the car. They cut the hole in the trunk. Read the uh, VIN number, said, okay, this is your car. Then he took it to Brooklyn, New York, and had the car registered to New York. When he, since then, he never let anyone drive this car. I went to buy it on a Sunday night. He told me he would not let me drive it on the road. He took me about an eight or nine mile ride from his house to Jones Beach, to a big parking lot similar to this one here. And he let me drive it in that parking lot. We had talked about, about what he was looking for. I offered a little less. He took the offer. He said, do you want to drive it home? I said, I don't know New York. Why don't you drive it home? And I said, it might be the last time you drove it. And sure enough, he drove it home. The next day I was there, picked it up. My grandson and I drove it back to you. Basically, this car was 100% original. Okay. Uh, right down to the interior was completely original. Except he painted the car and put a, vinyl roof, a new vinyl roof back on the car in 89. So this paint job is over 30 years old. Uh, I, since it was all original, I had to do a little work to it. Oil pan gasket was leaking. Water tank oil pan gasket, you gotta pull the end. 
Okay. After doing that, I put the new head gaskets on the water, pump the whole thing, and put the engine back in. Put a new clutch in it so we don't have a problem with that. I also, the springs were all original, they were weak. I just got done putting some springs in it and rebuilt the front end. Uh, I put air conditioning in it, and this was the first trip I had with the air conditioner working. It works like a charm. It's got some options that other cars don't have it this year. Power steering, dual master cylinder from the factory, air, air shocks from the factory, electric clock, remote control mirror, and power antenna. Uh, but the whoever bought the car originally, we loaded up with certain options. Well, that's really cool, that, and that really makes the car unique. Yes, it stands out. I mean. I, I like the color. I, I mean, that's what drove me to the car. The red and the black, you can't go wrong. What uh, what brought you to the uh, the hobby of the car? Well, like, like I said, I started back in, in uh, 1980 with original cars, and I used to go to shows back then where uh, you didn't pay to bring your car to the show. You brought your car to the show, and the spectators paid to come in. I was a member of the AACA for years, and then I, I wanted to do something to drive more often, so I bought a, a 64 Corvette, and then a 57 Chevy, had to put two of them, got rid of my older cars, and, and then uh, as a hobby, I, I used to pick up uh, Chevy pickup trucks, redo them, and just turn around and sell them. Flip them. Uh, yeah, and I had a, uh, I had a 28 Roadster, uh, I had a 33 Chevy Street Rod, I had a, uh, a 39 Street Rod I still have.